Welcome in this video in which we are going to learn how to create a simple program in function block diagram. To create a new program, I just right click on the program section and I had a new FBD program. I have to click on the default name to rename it and I'm going to call it test FBD. In the local dictionary, I'm going to create the variable that I'm going to use in my program. So I use a quick declaration and I create 10 Boolean variables, my var1 to my var10. I double click now on the program to open the FBD editor. In my tool blocks, I can see that all the elements of the FBD are available and I just now drag and drop a block, I select the end and I'm going to connect variables to this block. So I select the variable in my dictionary and one variable connected to the output. I can do a drag and drop from my dictionary to my editor. I will insert now another block and I will select this time a OR I connect one variable and I will enter the manual input mode. It means that I can draw, like in the ladder, I can draw my logic without having to select a variable each time. So after that I can just click to select my variable or double click to open the variable selector. I can also insert commands and I can write the command. I can also have some hypertext links and I resize my command as I want. Uh, in the FBD you see in the toolbox that I can insert also some ladder elements. I can insert a rung, a full rung, and I affect a variable to the contact and another variable the coil. Um, I can also insert only ladder element and mix this ladder element with my FBD. In this case I will just insert a contact a coil and a right power rail and this will be connected to my OR function block. And I just affect some variables to this contact and this coil. When I want to insert a function or a function block, I can also just drag and drop this function and function block from my local library. That's what I'm going to do now. And I can also open the block library where I'm going to find all the operators defined by the 61131 standard or all the function and function blocks defined in my local library. And I will just now connect some variables to call my function block and I will leave one input free for my function block. Um, I'm going to create some new variables, one sensor inhibition, one sensor defect and a new one for the output, one sensor alarm. Here we go. I'm going now to compile my program to check that there's no syntax error. And of course, I have one error on the FB alarm function block because one input is not connected. So I have to add one variable and I'm going to write a constant with a time syntax. Okay. Like all the elements in the Isagraph 6 workbench, I can open the property window and customize this element. For this variable, I'm going to change the color and I can do exactly the same for my function block FB alarm. I can change the color and choose yellow for this function block. 
I'm going to open now another plugin which is a document of a view. So in the view menu I open the document of a view and it opens on the right a window where I can see my whole program and I can select an area to display on the left part. So I can have on one side my full program and on the other side just a part of this program. Finally, the last thing I have to show you is in FBD the execution order. So you can see in which order the blocks are going to be executed. It's from top to bottom and from left to right. This video is now finished. If you want to contact us, you can write us at support at isagraph.com or super at isagraph.com.